counter draw, counter draw, counter draw, counter draw, counter draw, counters and can draw. You'd be surprised at the amount of cards in Modern that say counter target spell, draw a card. And we can chain one after another, we can keep our opponents denied the entire game. And that's the goal of today's video. If you're a control player at heart and love countering spells, this is the video for you. I hope I do not fail you. And uh, disclaimer, this video might be either a little bit long or have a lot of sped up games in it because this deck is literally built to stall. As I always say, if you wanted to see the full stream unsped up, you can see the entire full three or four hour stream in the twitch link down below in the description and with that let's get right into the deck tech followed by the gameplay hope you enjoy this video is sponsored by mtgonlinestore.com for some cool and creative mtg apparel and accessories everything from t-shirts to backpacks check out mtgonlinestore.com and use promo code marin for 15 percent off your next order and it also supports the show link is down below if you wanted to pick up today's deck while also supporting the channel, you can get your cards from tcgplayer.com by clicking the decklist link down below. This video is supported by our generous patrons. If you wanted to join the marination as well, you can find our Patreon link down below in the description, and you'll also gain access to our Patreon exclusive Discord server where we discuss future Fan Fridays episodes as well as many other things. I know some of you guys are probably thinking, Marin, why is this deck mono blue? Shouldn't you be splashing a color? Well, yes, we technically should be splashing another color. That's technically the right thing to do. But would it be the interesting thing to do? No. We're doing mono blue just to see if we can do it. I think we can. Let's hope for some good luck and get the swag wins. Let's kick it off with our counter spell, starting with our cheapest ones. We got Spell Pierce, a singleton. It's really good against Hand Disruption. And then Spell Snare is really good against those two drops like Goyf and Bob, mainly against Jund. Also can do pretty decently against Affinity to hit things like Ravager and Seal Overseer. Uh, good in general being on the draw so that we have some defense in the early game. And then Remand, counter draw, return it back to hand. Uh, and that just keeps the card draw flowing and keeps our opponent tempoed out. And onto our next mana cost of removal spells, or counter spells, three drop slot, we got the um, two copies of Archmage's Charm. Now that one, uh, that gain control of CMC one or less is going to be clutch against decks that have Aether Vile. And it's also pretty good for taking mana dorks and whatnot. Can counter spell and also can draw some cards if we have nothing to do on the end step. We can just use it to instant speed divination and then end up snap casting it back. And then Dream Fracture is pretty much another cryptic command counter draw. But they get to draw a card as well, but it's fine. We stop what they were going to do for the turn and we still get to replace it and find another counter spell to keep on countering. And then we got a singleton copy of Force and Negation in the main board we can exile blue card from a hand and cast it for free uh so this one is going to exile a spell and it only hits non-creature so that's why we only have a singleton and since this deck is mono blue we are very 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 scared of creature decks which is why i only have one force negation there's another one in the sideboard but it's not as good against creatures so just got the singleton and then next up we have our cryptic commands now, these are just our hard counter draw effects. Cryptic Command is the namesake card of the deck. It is Cryptic Tribal because it does counter draw. Also can fog for a turn by tapping all the opponent's creatures. It can bounce a problematic permanent, and that's going to be very relevant. And then we got Contradict. Now, Contradict is one that you probably didn't even know existed. Five mana counter draw. And this, into Snapcasting this, is even just as good as Snapcasting Cryptic. So, uh, it's a pretty decent card. Onto our Planeswalkers, we got one copy of Narset, just because we want to hold up counter spells for a very long amount of time and have not much time to tap out for Planeswalkers, so having too many of them would be kind of redundant. So we got only a Singleton Narset and one more on the sideboard for matches where opponent's going to be drawing a bunch of cards. Uh, helps us dig for some stuff. And then Jace the Mind Sculptor is probably our only win con in the deck. We want to get this out and protect it, tick it up, ult it, and win. So this is going to give us card advantage as well as bouncing creatures, as well as fate sealing our opponents to make sure their draws are bad so that we can take the time to hoard some card advantage. And then on to the rest of our permanents, we got Search First Kanta as a singleton good for grinding out and finding even more counter spells in the late game if we do survive to that point. And then Snapcaster to get back all of our counter spells once again. And if we can manage to protect Snapcasters, these can, these can be our alternate win cons. And then our removal. Since we are blue, we don't have access to technically good removal, but Silent Departure is an unsummon. It's sorcery speed, unfortunately, but we can do it twice. And the game is going to go long, and we will have a lot of mana to be able to flash this back for five. 
bouncing a creature and then countering it back down on the way down is going to be completely relevant and it's good for defending our walkers and whatnot. And then repeal can bounce any non-land permanent, so good for hitting those walkers that manage to slip by our counter spell somehow to be able to pick them up and then counter them back down. It also replaces itself. So in a way, repeal is kind of like a counter spell. Imagine they resolve a creature, bounce it, draw a card. It's pretty much just like a remand. We got a total of 24 lands, notable tech lands. We got a place at a prismatic vista, even though it's monocolor, just so that we can fetch away redundant cards with Jace uh, with that brainstorm effect. And then we got two copies of Field of Ruin, mainly to hit Cavern of Souls, um, because we can't really beat that card. And then two copies of Blast Zone. Blast Zone is very clutch for this deck as well, because it does hit Aether Vials, which is another thing that's difficult for counter spells to interact with. And then onto the sideboard, we got a play set of Surgical Extraction. So when we're going up against a combo deck, we gotta encounter something and then end up surgically extracting their combo pieces or their combo enablers. Um, same thing goes for like control, taking out all of their win cons. And for Tron, hitting those Tron lands with Field of Ruin and then surgically extracting them is relevant. And also hitting Hogax is very relevant as well. And then we got a play set of Ice Over. Now, we don't have access to good removal in blue as we went over a million times, so Ice Over is gonna be our spot removal. It enchants a creature or an artifact for two mana and it doesn't untap during its controller's untap step. This is another one of our answers to Aether Vial. We really gotta make sure we can deal with Aether Vial. It can enchant an Aether Vial and it won't untap. And then we got three copies of Aether Spouts. This is our blue board wipe. It uh, puts all attacking creatures on the top or bottom of its owner's library, so we'll be kind of like a pseudo sweeper. And then we got another copy of um, Force of Negation. And uh, this is good against, you know, anything combo or control. And then we got two copies of Spreading Seas, um, just because again, we really want to make sure that Cavern of Souls is not a thing because we are mono counter spells. So good for hitting those Cavern of Souls, good for hitting those Tron lands and those bounce lands out of Amulet Titan. And then another copy of Narset, good to make, um, Combo decks, not be able to draw a bunch of cards, good to bring in against Storm, especially Twiddle Storm, which is relevant right now. And also just bring it in against Control just for a little bit of card advantage. So that's about it. I'll get the stream started and I'll see you in the first round. We got a game here against Frank Lepore. I assume he is streaming as well. And we are going to be on the play. Dude, I have waited so long to fight Frank Lepore. I'm going to keep this hand. We got remand into Archmage's Charm if we draw an island. I've waited years to play Frank Lepore. I want to collaborate with you. Yo, Frank Lepore, if you are watching this, yo, let's let's collaborate. Hit me up. Nobody stream snipe, okay? Don't go telling me what's in his hand. But like back when I started watching MTG content, Frank Lepore was one of the ones that I watched. All right, Seachrome Coast could mean um, Pure Steel Paladin, could, me could mean Spirits. Gonna be a grindy one. Um, I'm just gonna go Blast Zone. I'm not gonna hold up Archmage Charm. I just, I'm just gonna hold up Remand. Rattle Chains, right? Raise the Alarm. Um... Sure, I'll let that resolve. It's just two dudes. Like, it's a 10 turn clock. I'll be able to deal with it by then. So, blue white soul sisters? Maybe it's like a sister battle screech deck? Tangible virtue. Alright, let's uh, uh, remand that. So, now I know I want to take up my blast on a two. There's wind brisk heights. That's going to be a good one if they ever get in with that. All right, snap. So we can snap or band here, but likely not going to, because then they could just play the land that they're sandbagging and recast Intangible Virtue. So I'm just going to um, Archmage's Charm. All right, that's fine. We will take it. He has four pieces of Exodia. All right, so now I'm going to use this to make me draw two cards. Oh, they're holding up an instant or- oh, they're holding up the ploy. Are they holding up the ploy? Is- or is he holding up the ploy? I feel like he's holding up the ploy. <laughs> he's probably a Dovin deck. Midnight Haunting. Oh, it's spirits. It's triplicate spirits. 
Uh, well, I probably want to counter that, right? Uh, I don't know. Um, I could repeal one. I could repeal snap. Do I have enough to repeal snap repeal? I think I do. Uh, yeah, I think that's that's fine, right? I can repeal. No, but then what am I really holding up? All right, I'll contradict. Time to F6. I'll turn off all auto yields, actually, because I want to give the illusion that I have force negation. No! Time Raveler! Oh, no! Oh, no! That's a problem. That's a problem. Okay, so I have two problems here. Is that I want to deal with those those tokens, but at the same time... Okay, there we go. I can, I can cryptic bounce to fairy. Um, I also want a blast zone. I also want a blast zone too. All right. Oh wait, I have to repeal one of these tokens now. And then I will just pass a turn and take a blast zone to two. Or to four, or to three actually. I'll take it up to three. Yep, I'll take the two. This is fine. Pass a turn, please. Thank you. Alright. Put Blast Zone up to three. Alright, let's uh, play another Blast Zone. And let's crack this Blast Zone. Like... That. Gather the townsfolk that I can't respond to. Yep. I don't want them to activate that Windburst Kites, so I'm going to uh, snap repeal here. Uh, hit a soldier, whatever. Okay, that's fine. If they have any scary thing, I can force negate it. And I will trade Snap for one of these human tokens. Alright, Hollow Fountain. What? Contradict otherwise known as um, actually? What are you talking about? Alright, we'll trade. Untap. Spell Snare. That's not bad. All right, let's pass. I think we got him controlled out from here. And I'll just take this hit, probably. And I will take up this blast zone. The two. And no need to fetch. Uh, yeah, let's just untap. And we can just pass. I'm gonna take action here to try to, to try to do something. I can snap. Um, I can snap Archmage's Charm again. Control that human. It's not a terrible idea. All right. So I'm going to. Uh. Yeah, let's let's snap Archmage's Charm. I want to start beating down. Go Archmage's Charm. And let's gain control of this token. Alright, cool. And start attacking, I guess. It's like a seven turn clock, but we'll get there eventually. And there, he's never resolving anything ever again. And this is what Mono Blue Cryptics does. Alright. Yep, 
Feels good, man. All right, now I can finally read chat. You're from FL, and so is he. And people tell me I look like him. Oh, what's up, I has a deck. Welcome back to the stream. Crazy alarm. All right, let's uh, spell snare that. All right. Let's uh, counter draw. Counter target spell draw card. Okay, he concedes. Yeah, we have counter spells for days, son. All right, uh, let's go Aether Spouts. Aether Spouts seems Gucci. And what else? Force and Negation seems good. And Sprouting Seas can hit the Windbris Kites, which might be relevant. Although, this is probably all I need. So let's cut... Um, kind of like Sign Departure here. Spell Snare is pretty good. Uh, let's cut Contradicts because they're expensive. Uh, what else? Exclude doesn't really hit anything, so cut Exclude. And cut... Uh, one more Contradict, maybe. Yep. All right, that Teferi is a problem. We're going to have to deal with that Teferi somehow. Uh, yeah, I think it's a good setup. I was going to say bring in the other Narset, but whatever. Going to get beaten down. Fair the disloyalty might be good in this? I don't know. Maybe. It is a two for one, because they lose a creature, you gain a creature, and then they use a removal spell on that creature. So it's kind of like a three for one. Or no, it's a two for one. All right, um, I'm going to keep this hand. We can Silent Departure a token, and then we can just Archmage's Charm to gain control of another one or counter a spell. And then we'll eventually get to this Aether Spouts. Nothing. All right, so they're holding up the, uh, whatchamacallit. Is Kanta. Okay. So... I'm not going to pretend like I have anything, and I'm not going to leave up a potential Teferi counterspell. So I'm just going to do what I should. Actually, no, 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 no. Because if they get a Teferi, I'm screwed. Like, yeah. If they resolve a Teferi, I'm screwed. Because I have no way to deal with Teferi right now. I have no Blast Zone. I have no counter for it. So I'm just going to hold up something that could be potentially seen as a counterspell. So hopefully that makes them not go for Teferi. And that would be great. Just pass. Just pass. No, no, no. No, no. I did not want to see that. No. Okay, now I got to draw a re repeal. I'm not going to be able to deal with that for like a million turns. All right, well, I'm going to get down this Kanta. But then they're just going to take down Teferi and bounce it. Alright. Uh, I guess that means I should Archmage's Charm to... Uh, I could make myself draw some cards. Um, You know what? Maybe I just start bouncing those things. <sighs> I don't know. I want to draw cards too, but... I'll do that next turn. So yeah, let's just go Silent Departure. And Iskanta. And pass. Oh, Polymorph? Maybe. See, I knew he was going to do that. Oh, no! I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! You're right! Raise the alarm plus Polymorph. No! Okay, I can't beat this. This game. Um... Okay, <laughs> so does Ice Silver hit a Merkle? No, it doesn't. It's a colored spell. No, wait. Yeah, it's a colored spell. We can't target it. It's a spell. Um, but we're on the play now, so that that makes the math work out for us. I'm gonna submit it right back. We can do this. Right, would you like to play first? Yes. 
I will keep that. That's got force and negation. I'm on board. Okay. Okay, that's fair. The snap's pretty dead. That's fine. Yep. So if anything scary slips by, force and negation is there to protect us. I'm just hoping to hit that to fairy. If it's a raise the alarm, I don't think I care. You know what? Maybe I do care. And then I just like, I can force negation pitching snap. Like, I don't care about that. And I do want to like, yeah. Yeah, that, that's that's going to deal a lot of damage to us over time. Because I don't care about the snap anymore because of the ley line, so I can just force a negation pitching snap. Alright, yeah, let's counter that. Nice. Now we go cryptic into cryptic into something else. Probably more cryptics. We're just going to try to cryptic forever now. Gather the town's flock. Um. Well, yeah, they're not going to play in the middle land, so I guess that's that's uh, going to get countered. So counter draw. Do they have a counter spell of their own? Another one. That's fine. Okay, another another cryptic. There's another cryptic, so we got trips cryptics here. All right, nice. Nothing. Good. I can bounce the ley line. That's not the worst idea in the world. That's not the worst idea in the world. I kind of like that idea. But then again, they're probably holding up an instant here, like secure the wastes. Yeah, I kind of feel like they're holding up like a secure the wastes here. Uh, are they? Or a deploy or something? Polymorphs of sorcery, right? I have to look this up. I have to look. I'm pretty sure it's. I played polymorph before. Uh, polymorph is a sorcery. Okay, so. Yeah, let's, uh. Bounce the ley line and draw, please, please, no instant. No. Okay, that's not the worst thing in the world, but it's still annoying. There's a Jace. Jace is not bad. Okay, maybe Jace can be a diversion for some aggro coming up here, but we have four turns to live. That's not that many turns. Jace is going to have to bounce one of these things. Tangible virtue. That's gonna get contradicted. <sighs> Don't have a follow-up, dude. Okay, so Archmage's Charm is nice because we can gain control of one of those things. No, they got Windbrisk! No! No! Oh, screwed. I'm so screwed. Um, okay. So... I'm gonna have to cryptic counter tap or tap draw. So let's uh let's pass. Alright, cryptic command. Don't extract it. Alright, uh Tap all creatures, draw a card. Okay, we can grind this out. We can grind this out. Jace can bounce a thing. Archimedes Charm can gain control of a thing. That thing can block another thing. That's the dream. Alright, repeal's nice. Repeal is nice. I want to hold up a thing to- Yeah, I'm just gonna pass. 
I'm just gonna pass. I, I will use the Snapcaster to block. All right, at the beginning of combat, let's uh, gain control of a spirit. Are they gonna attack all out? All right, let's repeal another spirit. Block one, block one. We're hanging in there. We are hanging in there. Take three, play a spell, come on. Let me use this. All right, let's dream fracture that. Counter draw and they draw as well. Don't do something scary. No, no. Stop! Stop it! Stop! The, that's the one card in Modern that completely counters what I'm doing. And Frank is playing it. Jace. Um... Do I want to brainstorm or do I want to bounce a spirit? Bouncing a spirit can buy me a few turns, but I think I gotta draw some cards, right? Don't I gotta draw some cards? I'm drawing cards. Blast zone. Well, there's my answer. Did I play a land? Don't tell me I played a land. Oh, did I play a land? No, I played a land. Oh, man. I can hit that to fairy. It's gonna take a couple turns. Come on, Frank. Just, just hit my Jace. Just attack my Jace. Come on. Attack my Jace. Okay. No. No! No! Okay. Well, I'm gonna crack this blast zone for swag. GG. GG, Frank. I, I've, I've always wanted to go up against you. And you just had to ferry me to death. But GG, man. Like I said, yo, hit me up. I'm down to collab. Got a game here against is Jess Jacob, and we are on the draw with some mono blue cryptics. And that has a force negation and spell snare is the only reason I'm going to keep it, but I wish we had islands. So, fun fact, I didn't have Fill the Ruins in the deck originally, but I felt like I really needed a Cavern of Souls answer. Um, so I originally just had two blast zones and 22 uh, islands. And I was like so scared that when I put Field of Ruins that I would get Island screwed. And this is one of those hands that does it. Because I do have Archmage's Charm in the deck. Alright, so Affinity, this is going to be a tough matchup because they have a lot they can do on turn one. And uh, with this deck, we're really hoping the opponent does nothing on turn one. That's what we're kind of hoping for. So if they play a Ravager or Seal of Rissu here, I will counter it. But if it's a Cranial Plating, I will use Force Negation. Extremely drum, sure. I want to save the spell snare specifically for creatures because they have a lot of two-drop creatures to play. Alright, I think I will use Force of Negation pitching probably Contradict. And I'll eventually use this uh, blast zone on one. Hit that signal pest. All right, we got our second land. Nice. Our second blue source. I'm just hoping for no uh, three drop guys. Currently. Ooh, frog might. Nice, spicy. Any follow-ups? Activates the Blink Moth, I assume? Yep, they are activating the Blink Moth. And what's that excess mana for? Mirror Enforcer! Dude! 
That's a tough one to beat. All right, well, they're empty-handed, so at least there's that. But we're going to get hit for a lot next turn. But the opponent's playing Affinity Affinity, so shoutouts to them. I would not mind getting bopped by Affinity Affinity. We played Affinity Affinity on the channel um, once or maybe twice. I don't know if you can count Mystic Forge Affinity as Affinity Affinity. What, do you, what advantages do you think this deck has over Blue Eye Control? Nothing. Blue Eye Control is way better. We're doing this just for the memes, Flaky Layers. This is just for fun. Unfortunately, the opponent found another Blink Moth that I have to deal with. And we're going to take a massive hit here. Because Blast Zone takes three to crack, not two. So we're going to take a lot. All right, let's get an island. And we can at least save a couple damage here. You love it? Yeah, we play for memes here on this channel. We are a meme. All right, so what is this? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, ten. So we're going to six, and then we're just dead. Yeah, we just die. That's that's just enough to kill me in one hit next turn. But they also have the Blink Moth Nexus, so there's nothing I can do anyways. The only way I can survive is if I draw a Cryptic Command, so let's see if I draw a Cryptic. Or let's see if I scoop. That is not a Cryptic Command, and that is the game. All right, on to sideboarding. I definitely want ice over. Uh, do I want force negation? I don't think so. Yeah, let's actually cut force negation. And spreading seas can hit man lands, and they got a lot of them, so I guess so. Aether spout seems good. I do not like search for Kanta and Narset here. Contradict is a little slow. Um, spell pierce may hit cranial plating, but I don't know if they're running that or not. Um, Dream Fracture, maybe cuttable. Remand is not the best against Affinity. Probably not the best against Affinity. Wait, what? Where'd the Sun Departure get cut from? Um, yeah, Remand doesn't do a whole lot against them, but it really helps us for the early game. Um, hmm. Maybe I do want some Force and Negations, because maybe they might have... Something that's like anti control. Huh. Maybe contradicts are just too slow, but if we got, in a, if we're in a control A position, it could be good. All right, let's bring back in Dream Fractures, and I think we're gonna cut Remands. Because Remands, they're, they're, they have a bunch of like zero costed stuff. All right, I'll keep that. If I can get up to five mana, I can eat their spouts. And I have repeal for uh, something early on. Bell snare for one of their two drops. Yeah, they'll just be able to recast their zero drops. That's the thing. Oh man, it is hot. I'm glad we only have a couple rounds left to go. I want to turn my fan on. All right, so go for the Wombo combo, Mox Opal. Although since they are Affinity Affinity, there is a chance they are on a budget. So maybe they don't own Mox Opals. But if they do, I hope they go for the turn one Steel Overseer. Signal Pest. Yep. Well, let's Silent Departure that, and just leave up Spell Snare. I gotta hit my lands. You presume some fans had already turned on? 
What? I don't get it. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. What's up, Gpanta101? Welcome back to the stream. Good to see you again. Springleaf dumb. Yep. Gotta hit our land drops. Come on, dude. Come on. Don't whiff. Don't whiff here. Do not whiff. Dang it, that's a whiff. Alright, well, I'm gonna hold up Spell Snare, and if I don't need to uh, Spell Snare anything, I will repeal. Fire Ministry, don't play 3 drop, dude. Ornithopter, sure. Nice top deck. Time to get in with that uh, Blink Moth. You're paying a life. So something blue is coming out here. All right, uh, Master of Ethereum. Can't spell snare that, so I'm going to let that resolve. See if they go to combat. All right, they are going to combat, so let's repeal the signal pest. All right, field of ruin, so that can hit the blink moth. We're still having issues here. And now they can recast the signal pest. And then I can like Archmage's Charm it, which is nice. Oh, they're not even going to recast it. Okay, they're holding up a Spell Pierce, I presume? But they didn't cast the Spell Pierce. Oh man, we can't even Archmage's Charm. I was going to like gain control of the Signal Pass, but I can't. So I don't have Triple Blue, but I will next turn. Come on, opponent, just play a 2-drop I can counter. I would like to use a Spell Snare really bad. That resolves. Going to combat. All right. Uh, yeah, I'll take, I'll take it. I gotta leave the spell snare till the end. What's going on here? Come on, play a two drop. Please. Come on. Nope, three mana. That's another massive Ethereum that I can't deal with. All right, that's a shame. Well, I can repeal something here to try to draw land. I'm not going to hope on that. Let's just let's just feel the ruin and hope to top deck a land. That's all I can do. Or you know what? I I am going to repeal. I'm going to repeal the ornithopter here. I just gotta make sure I hit this land, because if I can get up to this Aether Spout, so I can win. So bounce the Ornithopter, draw a card, give me a land. Don't screw me now, deck, I need this. I need this, and if I can get to this Cryptic, I can tap draw, and that would help a lot. Are they about to Galv Blast us? What are they doing? Red Elemental Blast? Ricochet Trap? Is this a Ricochet Trap? I don't get it. Shrapnel Blast? Is it a Shrapnel Blast? I think it's a Shrapnel Blast. I knew it! 
I knew it. And now when I finally have the chance to use my spell snare, I'm tapped out. Of course it was shrapnel blast. Well, I gotta draw a land here or I lose. That's not a land. Wait, I can survive, right? Yeah, I can. So... Let's gain control of Signal Pest and hold up a chump block and pass. That's what keeps us alive. Thoughts, thought cast. Don't draw Gal Blaster, Shrapnel Blast. That's fine. I just gotta draw lands. That's all I need to do. If I can draw one more land, I probably win. I probably do if I top a land. All right, here we go. Oh no, they're just gonna sack stuff and put it on on the other guy. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. No. Wait, he's gonna shrink. He's gonna shrink. He's gonna shrink. Can they do this? I don't think they can. Are they? I think it's barely not enough. I think it's barely not enough. Yeah, I think they realized they overcommitted. And now I can ice that thing over and I'm good. Now I can just ice it over and I'm good. And I get to keep my chump blocker. And then I can hold up a counter spell for a potential burn spell. Yeah, we're good. We're in the clear. All right, the opponent screwed up. I think they, they forgot the thing was gonna shrink when they lost artifacts. Nice. All right, uh, ice that over now. And now I can hold up, I still didn't even draw a land, but now I can hold up this spell snare once again. They can still slip something by that's very scary because I still whiffed my land drop. 14 cards deep in a 24 land deck and didn't hit another land. All right, they top decked another useless land, nice. Blast zone. All right, cool. I'm not going to use this uh, spreading seas until I see a man land. I could put it on the dark steel citadel, but whatever. Another land. Uh, let's just draw. I should have taken that the blast zone there. Okay, we're hitting our lands now. Good. I think we're solid now. Now I just gotta find a win con. Even a snapcaster could do it. Keep hitting their lands. Alright, take that thing up to three. Alright. And now we wait. So how's everybody doing? Welcome to the grind fest. Can we use our spell snare yet? Nope. Guess not. Time for a mystic frog? The enforcer. Right, let's counter draw. Come on, Snapcaster. And the Snapcaster for close came out pretty good because of our battle cry and our signal pest. Okay, there's a Snapcaster. That's what we wanted. That is what we wanted. So now we can start beating face. But I'm also kind of scared at the same time. Signal pest. I could snap cryptic here. So I have seven mana, so I can snap cryptic and spell snare. 
All right, let's do that because I want to get a thread down. Or you know what? No, let's do Archmage's Charm. Screw it. We're going to gain control of that thing. Come on, two drop. Play a two drop. Thank you. Spell Snare. And now we can gain control of the Signal Pest. Gain control of that, and now we start attacking. Nice. Beating you down with your own Signal Pests. And there's another one, too. Come on, opponent, play more Signal Pests. That's a quick clock. Down to 13. Is that a mosquito? I got eaten alive by mosquitoes last night. It was terrible. Alright, there's another spell snare target. Alright, we are doing it, boys. Exclude as well. Alright, we are two turns away. Opponent's down to seven. A couple more turns. Got Cryptic and Archmage Charm and Exclude. We should be good. See, we're playing the Counterspell deck, but for some reason our opponents always have way less time on the clock than we do. Like, they got 12 minutes, I got 20 minutes. Like, I'm the mono blue deck, so I don't understand how that always happens in our gameplay videos. It's just like, I'm the one playing the slow as heck deck, why do you have like 10 less minutes than me? I've never understood that. But it happens. Alright, opponent's down to one. Do you have a win con? That is not a win con. And they concede on sideboarding. Okay. So I think I'm going to run it back the same. Like, I could bring in Force Negation because they do have cranial plating, and cranial plating is scary. But at the same time, do I really need that? And I didn't even see Steel Overseer once. Like, do they not run Steel Overseer? I saw a couple Ravagers, so that and plating, so I think I should keep in Spell Snare. But it was stuck in our hand a lot. Okay, Contradict on the draw is probably not what we want. So let's cut Contradicts, and I think we're gonna bring back in Force and Negations. So yeah. Contradicts in the draw are way too slow. And once again, if we can uh, find the mana for Aether Spouts, we should be able to just like sweep it all up and win. That has no lands for Aether Spouts, and it doesn't even have an Aether Spouts, so we are going to mull. This hand has a repeal and a bounce card, so I guess. Put back an island. Done. Is not a good hand at all. But we can slow our opponent down with these spells at least. And try to find an Aether Spouts. That's the plan. I don't know if it's a good plan, but it's a plan. Alright. Let's bounce this boy. Slow him down a bit. They can resolve their, their precious two drop if they want. But they've been not so keen on doing that. Like, Affinity has tons of two drops. They're, they don't have many at all. All right, two mana. There's the plating. All right, that's terrifying. 
Okay, found our aether spouts. Now I'm feeling better. We just gotta hold off. We can repeal, snap, repeal, whatever the cranial plating is on. And then just like get up to aether spouts. Yep. Sure. Sure. Is it time for Mirror Enforcer? You're one short, I think. Gotta have one more zero drop. Or are you just going to equip? Alright, now it's repeal. You recast it? Yep, alright, cool. There's a dream fracture. Ooh. Uh, blast zone is pretty cool. Blast zone can tap down a uh, signal pest. Is that good enough tempo to get there? I could also snap repeal. But I have a feeling you're going to put the cranial plating on the, the pester mite. But I can leave up dream fracture. I think that's a good reason to just pass. Because dream fracture would help me hit my land drop. And I'm pretty sure I can survive somehow. Because no matter what happens next turn, I can snap repeal on whatever cranial plating goes on. Unless they put it on the frogmite, which would be the smart thing to do. But then if they do that, I can just snap caster to ambush viper the frogmite. Okay, they put it on the Ornithopter. Nice, so now that opens up Snap Repeal for me. Although part of me wants to just take the hit. Because I can leave up Dream Fracture otherwise. But do I care if I'm just gonna, like, Aether Spouts anyways? All right, I, I will snap repeal. Because I'm going to just clean it all up with Aether Spouts anyways. So I think that this, this makes sense. Let, let all their threats resolve and then just sweep them away. And I can also trade with the Frogmite. Save even more damage. Which I think is relevant. I'll do that. And there's our land we needed. Ornithopter's back out once again. Thoughtcast is pretty good. Any further follow-ups? All right. There's another snap. All right, so I can just play an island, take a hit, tick up blast zone to two, and then blow up the cranial plating. I mean, yeah, that sounds like a plan. I'm okay with taking one hit. Yeah, this is fine. So that's six damage. Perfectly fine.
A frog might. Sure. I'll just Aether Spouts. The only thing I'm really scared of is like a, a spell pierce. That's fine as well. I am kind of concerned of a spell pierce. Uh, yeah, so if they have a spell pierce, I lose. Let's see what happens. But if they don't have a spell pierce, I win. Like, I probably just win. Like, I'll have answers for days. They got two cards in hand. I'm kind of scared. Not gonna lie. Alright, this is it. Everything or nothing. Do they have spell pierce or not? Or unified will or not? Here we go. Survey says... The spell, spell pierce, fluster storm. Oh, it resolves! Yes! Alright, nice. Nice. I think we won. Those things are all getting tucked. They're all swept away. Last zone's about to hit that cranial plating. Ice Silver will hit the next threat. I hope they play like a two drop threat and forget that I have Blast Zone ticked up to two and then I just sweep them both away. And then also their Glimmer Void's gonna die, which is nice. So they have to choose whether it's going on the top or the bottom. And I don't think they'd want to top deck any of this stuff, except maybe Mirror Enforcer. They paused because they were cussing? Yeah, probably. See, look, they have like five minutes left on their clock, and I don't understand how. Their affinity, I'm supposed to be the one with five minutes left on my clock, but I got 18 minutes. 18 and a half. And they're running on four and a half now. Like, I don't get it. That Blink Moth Nexus is the problem, but I can just blast zone this and then it's no longer a threat. I think they're definitely on a budget because they don't have uh, Ink Moth or, or Mox Opal. Frog might. I mean, yeah, might as well just dream fracture that. Draw some cards. Signal pest, sure. Quips plating. Yep. Another Aether Spouts. Eat. I don't know why fetch now. Let's just pass. Leave up answers. If they go in with their Blink Moth, I might just Aether Spouts again. What do you think is better, Cranial Plating or Hardened Scales? Um, I think Hardened Scales Affinity is better than traditional Affinity. It's very grindy. It can grind out against almost anything. Unless it's a combo deck that can just like find their combo and go off. So if it can, if it had a better, if it can do a better job of dealing with combo decks, I think it'd be a very good deck.
I think I'm just gonna crack the blast zone because next turn when they go attacking with all three, I'll just spout them again. And I would just be taking, what, two damage? Which I can take. Or I could just spout them now. Yeah, I, I guess I'll just Aether spouts them now since, uh, since this uh, Ornithopter is not gonna do anything. Bow to you. Dude, you gotta hurry up. You only got two and a half minutes left. You gotta kill me. And then go to Taco Bell, yes. Osu fan's right. And whoever said that earlier is right. They're choosing. Wait, where did the Ornithopter go? Oh, it's right there. Hiding. Ornithopters like to hide in dark, dark spaces. And note to self, don't use this ice over until I use the blast zone. Okay, that's fine. So now I can just uh, crack this blast zone. And uh, ice over this master of Ethereum and pass. Oh, it doesn't, it doesn't tap. So it's still a Lord, so that's a problem. So they can get in for three here. But they're empty handed now. So it's not too big of an issue. Again for one. Okay, they're gonna give me the chance to snap Aether Spouts. I appreciate it, dude. Another ice over. All right. If they if they give me the opportunity to snap aether spouts, I'm definitely taking it. I don't know why I even you, I even iced over the master of Ethereum because it does. Um, um. Do I let that resolve? All right. Whatever. I want them to just attack with everything here. Come on, dude. Activate your blink moth. Only attacks for one, sure. Archmage's Charm, right, so I can gain control of that signal pest. Uh, but I'm not gonna do it yet. I'm just gonna try to snap Aether Spouts again. Want them to go all out attacking with everything. Ravager... I, I can just ice that over. I just want them to go attacking. Alright, they, they're activating Yggmoth. Go, go attacking with everything. Do it. Even the Master of Ethereum, thank you. Alright, so they had to go for lethal. And now I can fetch. Rabbit Island. Snap Aether Spouts. Sorry, not sorry. You decide, opponent. You decide. I don't even think they're gonna have enough time on the timer to even do this. They got five seconds. Four seconds. Oh, they did it. Battle cry, sure. All right, nice. And they concede, or they ran out of time. And that be the game. Taking down Affinity, and I think it was like a budget Affinity. I didn't see any Opals, didn't see any Steel Overseers. So maybe they're probably new to Modern and just wanted to play Affinity and didn't really know the exact makeup of the deck. And uh, 
Well, yeah. And it, it surprises me that people actually time out when I'm supposed to be the one timing out. I'm playing the slow deck and I still ended the game with like 16 minutes on the clock. Um, but yeah, taking him down. Got a game here against Gristlebuck. Almost Gristle Duck. Missed out on a good one there. And yes, gonna be on the play with some Cryptic Tribal. Oh, this hand is rough. This is super rough. Do I keep this or do I mull? No, I'm gonna mull. Okay, I'll try that. I need to draw lands. I think I'm gonna put away the Silent Departure. Maybe I should have put away the Snap. Because I don't need it right now. I gotta hit my land drop and hope they're a creature deck so I can use this exclude. But then again, hope they're not a creature deck so I can use this spell pierce. So it's a it's a double. It's a, it's a double whammy. Your favorite is Claydol? I've never heard that one before. I never heard somebody say their favorite Pokemon is Claydol. Yes, we do have C dots. Oh no, it's humans. Uh, this is actually a very difficult matchup because of uh, Cavernous Souls and Aether Vile. So we're gonna have to prepare for that with the sideboard, which we do have sideboard for. Contradict. All right, so we drew it anyways. We put it on the bottom and, oh no, wait, that wasn't that this game. It is hot in here. Yep, and there is a Cavern of Souls, which I cannot beat. So, I'm going to concede if they play a two drop. All right, I'm gonna concede. I cannot beat Cavern of Souls. So, oh wait, I have the Field of Ruin. But then again, let's bring in Spreading Seas. Let's bring in Aether Spouts and Ice Over. And uh, let's cut the Narset, Force of Negation. Spell Pierce can hit Vile. Um, but then again, if I don't have the Spell Pierce and I top deck it, it's dead. It's a dead card. Um, is Kanta's a little bit too slow here? Uh, what else do we have to cut? Uh, let's cut a Contradict. Let's cut a... What else? Snap. I mean, Snap can be a thing. Uh, even though this is a matchup for Silent Departure, I don't know. I cut one. Cut one Remand. And cut another Contradict, I guess. Whatever, just a bunch of random stuff. And would you like to play first? Yes. Um, this hand cannot interact with Aether Vile. Actually, yeah, it can, but if they have a Cavern of Souls, we're screwed. Do I just keep this and hope they don't have Cavern of Souls? Did you get a backdrop, Marion, or did you move out? Oh, no, I'm still in the same spot. It's just, uh, it's just a layout. Uh, okay, so Archmage's Char Charm can t take an Aether Vile. I can remand into counter, into counter, into Aether Spouts. I'm going to keep it and hope they don't have a cavern. That's all I'm going to hope for here. That's all I can hope for. Like, I'm not going to mulligan in the face of humans. And then I know they're going to end up, like, slipping by a rebooter, probably off, like, a vial, and then, and then I'm going to lose my Aether Spouts. Be sucky as a ducky. My favorite gen is fifth. I like 5th gen. I've, I've played through 5th gen so many times. 3rd? I've only played through 3rd generation, like, not that many times, a few times, but 5th gen all the way. Like, black 2 and white 2 and, and black and white, like, the, both, of, both of them. They're really good. White 2 is the best game, IMO. Yeah, I, I can agree with that. Black and white and then black 2, white 2. Those are, like... My favorite Pokemon games. Alright, Unclaimed Territory is not a cavern. And there is a vial. I'm gonna have to draw an island so I can Archimedes Charm. Nice. Alright, so... I have to remand something here, and then I have to Archimedes Charm that vial. And then maybe we can stabilize, but... It's gonna be tough. They're gonna be able to slip by a one drop, and it's gonna be very annoying. Is it because of Hydreigon? No, Hydreigon's not one of my favorites. Um, my favorites that come from 5th gen is 
Zoroark, Mian Shao. Let's remand here. All right, so Athalia, unfortunately, is going to resolve. Athalia is going to resolve. I could feel the ruin now. I have to just, um... I have to take this vial. Like, I... I can't, I can't beat that vial. Don't you dare vial in a one drop. Thank you. Now, they're gonna resolve with Thalia, which is a bummer, but it should be fine. I'll be able to get counter spells back on time next turn, or back on online. First gen or nothing? Oh, so you're, you're a hipster. You're one of them normies. JK, what's up, Nick Foster, 1988? It was a kind of, it was kind of a joke, but at the same time, kind of not. Alright, so they get to take my Aether Spouts, unfortunately. But I do have a lot of counter spells still. I like first gen. I can literally sit here and name off every first gen mono right now. Are we ready to do it? Am I about to annoy YouTube's ears? Am I about to annoy your ears, YouTube? Leave a comment down below if I'm about to annoy your ears. But I'm about to name off every first gen mon. Oh, I'm gonna keep that vial on too. Alright, so... Let's just pass and leave up counter spells. All right, so let's start off. You doubt it? No, no. Don't doubt it. I got you. All right, ready? Charmander, Charmeleon, Charizard. Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, Venusaur. Squirtle, Blastoise, uh, War Turtle. Caterpie, Ven Venomoth, Venonat, Kakuna, Weedle, Beedrill, Butterfree, uh, Pidgey, Pidgeotto, Pidgeot. Uh, Fero, Spiro, Snorlax, Chansey, Zapdos, Moltres, Articuno, Mewtwo, Mew, uh, Dragonite, um, Dratini, Dragonair, uh, Kabuto, Kabutops, uh, Pinsir, uh, Hitmon Lee, Hitmon Chan, um, Tangela, uh, Farfetched, Doduo, Dodrio, Sandshrew, Sandslash, Oh wait, what I- oh, oh, I wasn't paying attention! I wasn't paying attention and I let the Militia Bugler resolve. I wasn't paying attention! Dude! Chat! Why have you forsaken me? Oh, it's too late. No, they had the cavern. It's fine. I wouldn't have been able to do it anyways. I wouldn't have been able- okay, thank goodness. Alright, let's pay attention. I'm gonna try to still name them off. I'm gonna still try to name them off, but I'm also- Okay, there's a snap. Instant speed snap. Nice. I can snap remand, but I definitely want to leave up a hard counter for that Thalia. Um, so let's just pass. Alright, so let's continue naming them off. Um, Paris Parasect. Alright, that is going to get excluded. Okay, I wish I had another mana. No, don't resolve another Thalia. No. No. I need a I need a silent departure. I need a silent departure so I can get rid of that freebooter and get my Aether Spouts back. I need to get my Aether Spouts. And why am I not hitting my land drops? I'm running 24 lands. Uh, file's going to stay on too. Oh, sure can. A little, a little cheeky. All right, let's finish naming them off. So then we got Mankey and Primeape. We got Machop, Machoke, and Machamp. We got Rapidash and Ponyta. Um, Alakazam, uh, Abra and Kadabra, Drowsy and Hypno. Oh, we drew another exclude. Where is our lands? All right. I think I'm going to Spreading Seas just to hit, try to hit my land drop, because I'm not winning this either way. Alright, we hit our land drop, thank goodness. Humans is literally the worst matchup for us. This is what we did not want to run into. I was just 
logging on today to Moto, I was just like, oh, I really hope I don't run into humans today because that's literally our worst matchup. They got Cavern, Vile, Thalia, Freebooter. Like, literally, they're meant to beat this. So, like, I was hoping to not run into humans today, so. Let's hope to not run into it again. Okay, let's let's keep doing it. Oh, speaking of jinxing it, Pox, we got Jinx, we got Mr. Mime. We have, um... Let's keep going, let's keep going. I gotta hit an Aether Spouts off the top here. Jinx, Mr. Mime, Ride on Rhyhorn. Um... Uh, Kangaskhan. Uh, Clefairy, Clefable, Jigglypuff, Wigglytuff, Pikachu, Raichu. Oh, why didn't I Snapcaster to Ambush Viper that thing? Silent Departure, there it is. Give me that back. Alright, now we're good. And before the next four opponents are five color humans. Wait, we're still naming off the Pokemon. Hold on. Um what else? Thalia. Alright, let's let's remand that. Let's Dream Fracture that. We're gonna get pretty low here, but next turn we're gonna go for the Aether Spouts. I'm not gonna Snapcast. I'm gonna save Snapcaster for Aether Spouts. I would like to draw another Spreading Seeds for a future uh, Cavern of Souls too. All right, there's a cryptic command, which is kind of nice. So I think I'm gonna have to go for a, a cryptic tap here and then dream fracture something. Or you know what I can do? I can just silent departure this militia bugler and then I can like go, okay, this, okay, it's seven mana snap. I have violent snap to remand and then I dream fracture. So yeah, silent departure this bugler. Pass the turn. Let's open the graveyards. Oh, we're all, we also got Porygon, Lapras. All right, Kite Self Freebooter. So now here is where I... Uh, Cryptic Command to counter draw, right? Counter target spell... I can bounce Thalia's lieutenant. Is that a bad idea or is that a good idea? No, no, that's a good idea. Yeah, let's uh, counter draw. Counter target spell, draw a card. All right, let's do it. Now I'm kind of looking for a Jace. All right, let's snap remand. Where's remand? There's remand at the top there. We might be bouncing back from this one, guys. Crazy as that sounds. Oh, there is a spreading seeds for a future cavern of souls. All right, now, now I'm looking for the Jace. Contradict is not bad. All right, keep passing. All right, I think we got there. You didn't think I'd remember Porygon? Pox, I told you, I'm about to name off every first gen mon. All right, so we got the fossils. We got Kabuto and Kabutops. Uh, there's Aerodactyl is another fossil. Um, there's Starmie and Staryu. There's Goldeen and Sea King. Uh, Krabby and Kingler. Uh, Magikarp Gyarados. All right, so we can go 
um, snap cryptic here and start trying to beat down. And let's go cryptic command. Yeah. And then we can go counter target spell draw a card. Ice over. That's pretty nice. That is pretty nice. Oh, there's the cavern. There's the cavern. Dang. All right, well, we're going to have to spreading seeds that. Oh, no. Can we not deal with this? Dang, they waited. They waited. We had it. Oh, this game was ours. This was ours, dude. That's a shame. We had it. That's lame. It was our worst matchup. Like, if we could survive one turn, we were just going to spreading seize that and continue to counter everything. And we were going to start beating down with Snapcasters and getting there. Like, we literally had it locked down. And if anything slipped by, we had the Aether Spouts. But opponent top deck the cavern for exact seas. Exact seas three. Dude, what a shame. Yo, what up guys? Post-production Marin here with your typical per video speed up session. So lately, like the past two months on the channel, we've been speeding up two games per video, but for today we're only speeding up one, and it's pretty obvious why. We are playing mono blue counter spells, so every single match today was pretty much grindy. And this match was probably the longest one we've ever had in the channel's history. It was like 55 minutes long. It was like almost like literally an hour. And so we end up going up against abs and midrange, so naturally it's going to be grindy. Um, anyways, uh, as I always say, if you wanted to catch the full games, the full stream, unedited, unsped up, and uncut from the video, you can go to the Twitch link down below in the description and watch the entire VOD there. So the opponent's kind of milling themselves here with Ashiok, and I'm thankful for that because I can very easily get milled out by Ashiok since this deck likes to go very long. And so I'm looking at their graveyard. They have, I think I saw worship in there, if I remember correctly. Um, they have Wrath of God. They have just a bunch of Planeswalkers. Uh, they have um, Vrosko Golgari Queen. They have Ashiok. They have Elspeth Knight Arant. They got like, and then Lingering Souls and Rhino. So it's just like Abzan midrange. Wall I don't care about. I'm just grinding out with Jace here, holding up counter spells forever and just waiting for something to happen. It's going to be very difficult to commentate this one because there was long sections of just nothingness. Uh, the exclude was kind of weirding me out in this matchup because I didn't know if I wanted to keep it in or not because it doesn't hit Wall of Omens. It, I mean, it, I don't want to counter Wall of Omens. Basically, it's only there to hit Siege Rhino and I end up keeping it in. Uh, now that I think about it, maybe I should have cited it out. That Bitter Blossom. So I bring the other Force Negation because they got nothing but, like, non-creatures except Siege Rhino. And I counter the Bitter Blossom, which I'm happy about because that's the biggest threat. Got to make sure we can deal with that. And then um, they resolve Luminarch Ascension. And I'm like, okay, I am pretty screwed. I have to tick up this uh, this uh, Blast Zone to two and blow up that Luminarch Ascension before it gets to ult. And uh, they're able to resolve a bunch of stuff because I have to keep tapping out. And uh, they're able to grind out with Soren. And I get so close to countering Soren. I forgot what I had to do there, but um, there was something... I, I don't remember exactly what happened, but there was a way I could have dealt with that Soren and I didn't. Uh, so going on to the next game. This uh, Stirring Wildwood is a huge problem in this game, as you will soon find out. So I have Surgical Extractions now because they have Lingering Souls and they're filling their graveyard like crazy. So I bring in the play set of Surgicals. And I surgical their Lingering Souls, so I don't have to worry about that anymore. And Lingering Souls is typically the control killer. They're able to slip by that Vraska. And this is a game where I was very land screwed. And I was surprised that I was getting very land screwed with this deck. Like, our contradicts in this deck were just very clunky. And I was just getting land screwed in, like, several games. And I don't know why, because everything we have is counter draw, so we should naturally just draw lands. Like, 24 land deck, no fetches. Or, we have four fetches, but... Uh, this game that they're sacking their lands to Vraska to draw cards, and I actually don't mind that um, because it's like they're they're making it so that they can't really do two plays in one turn if they're sacking their lands, and that's fine by me because I, I would like to counter one spell per turn. So I get down Jace, and it's uh, I, I believe it's my last Jace uh, because I think that they uh, destroyed my other one or milled my other one or something happened to my other one. So this is my last Jace. So I gotta protect it with my life. 
And uh, I, I make sure that I can because I saw their hand several times because I uh, surgically extracted, I believe, like three times. And uh, I saw they have a play set of Abrupt Decay in their deck. I don't know why. But they also have Maelstrom Pulse and Assassin's Trophy. And I make sure to always have counter spells for that. And I'm drawing so many cards with Jace here. And now it's just a matter of grinding out. At this point, I feel pretty comfortable like I have it. And But that stupid Wildwood, that stirring Wildwood is the bane of my existence. And I just barely, I got, I Luxac there because I topped out that Snapcaster to chump block. And if I didn't top that Snapcaster, I would have been dead. I'm able to get back out the Jace. I had to repeal my own Jace to try to dig for an answer. And I barely ended up surviving double remanding that garrick is canta's online and i ult jace on them and i'm just waiting for them to get milled out i counter every single walker they're never resolving anything ever again so it was a grindy matchup uh, i apologize this was a little bit of a longer video but i hope you enjoyed it regardless uh a deck like this was bound to be a long and grindy one but hopefully in the next few days in the channel we will have quicker decks so yeah, let's head on to the outro of this video, and we got there against Abzan. Hope you enjoyed. So that about wraps up today's video. We ended up with two total wins, and like I was just saying a second ago to the chat, um, two of our losses were to um, like Landscrew. And then the rest of them were to literal, like, the opponents had, like, actually cards that counter our deck. Like, Teferi, making it so we have to play Sorcery Speed and whatnot. And, like, Cavern of Souls, Aether Vial, stuff like that, where it's just like, how do we beat that when we're a counterspell dot deck? So, stuff like that. And the re the, our wins, we probably just got lucky. I don't know. But this deck was more or less just a meme. So, I hope you enjoyed it. If you're going to play a control deck, play blue-white control. It's the best deck in modern, in my own opinion. Um, mono blue, you don't have access to really good removal. And one of the things that I was going to mention earlier, but didn't want to spoil and save for the end, is that I see the glaring problem with this deck. Is if you're manning your opponent's spell, they're going to go back up to like seven cards in, in hand and pass a turn. And then the next turn, you mm -hmm. like dream fracture them, and they're going to go back up to seven cards again. And then like you're getting up to the point where you have like contradict, and they have a full grip. And so, if you contradict a spell, they're going to have enough mana to play another spell, and so something's going to slip by. I really, really, really wish I could have fit a, a play set of Force Negation and a play set of Narset. I wish there was a world in which I could have done that, but it's just like, creature matchups are too scary. We're not going to be creature naps, matchups. Because we're not two colors, we don't have access to premium removal and wraths. So that's the problem. If you're going to be a control deck, you need good removal and wraths, and we don't have that. Our only plan today was to meme around and go up against slow decks and counter them into oblivion. Now, if it was any other day, I would run up against Tron and combo and totally get destroyed. But today, I wanted to run into combo and Tron, nothing but combo and Tron, and didn't do it. So we ran into all the wrong matchups at all the wrong times. I literally wanted to avoid aggro at all costs today and like we ran into nothing but aggro today so no that's magic for you sometimes you uh you get the matchups you want one day or and then the other day you get the matchups that you would have wanted this other day and like vice versa um so let me know what you, about, what you think about this deck in the comments down below what would you do to improve it honestly this deck has been through a lot of iterations like i actually brewed this up weeks ago and like every week i go and change something from it and then like there's not a lot of testing to be done, so there's a lot of things you can do with it. And if there's anything I actually gained out of this video is that I think that Archmage's Charm is actually pretty good. A lot of people don't like this card. It's a very hit or miss card for some people. Some people either love it and some people hate it. I had a good time with it. I think it was pretty decent. You know, it's kind of like an Esper Charm that has a little bit different abilities. They both are instant speed divinations. One can be an instant speed mind rot, but this one can be a counter spell. And the other one can destroy an enchantment, whereas this one can gain control something with CMZ one or less, which actually came in clutch many times. It took an Aether Vial, and that Aether Vial helped us like do good things. And um it was able to like take the affinity opponent's signal pests and actually beat them down and win with them. So it actually came in clutch sometimes, and it can actually gain control of some pretty relevant things. So I actually like this card, and I'm a big fan of Repeal as well as a removal spell. Bounce Draws is a really fun thing for me to do. It's one of my favorite things, and Exclude is cool. 
I really like this spell. Very good value. It's a two for one for three mana. And if you can get that off, it's pretty good, but it's a little bit narrow. But I really wish there was a world in which I could have fit a for a place set of force and negation and Narset. But then I'd have to be a different color and run rats to support that. Um, but I just love the way the force and negation lets you tap out for walkers and not fear anything. So that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit that like button if you did, and subscribe, subscribe if you're new for the Jankies the gameplay every other day. Uh, feel free to leave a list down below in the comments. I'd be curious to see a list you might want to see for a future video. And thank you very much to all the sponsors. Uh, go check out the social media. Links are down below. Go check out the um, Twitch if you want to catch one of these live streams. Link is down below as well. We currently stream every Saturday, Monday, and Wednesday at 4 p.m. Pacific time. And uh, thanks to the patrons and, of course, the chat. And we are going to get it on here. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.